On today's menu is a nutritious and delicious green pea recipe. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Boombi. I'm using frozen green peas, but if you're lucky enough to get fresh ones, then please do use them. I have rinsed the peas in hot tap water and put them in a strainer to thaw completely and allow that excess water to drip off as you do not want that extra water. From here, I took out about half a cup of green peas as I will be adding them later. Now comes the others that will join the blender party. Ginger, garlic and a green chilli which is totally optional and then more of greens. I will use some of this coriander leaves and the rest will go as garnish. And I had this only one green onion lying in the refrigerator and it was screaming to join the blender party. So Bumbi did grant its entry. I didn't add any water to the blender jar at first as you need a fairly dry puree. But then my blender blades were just not cooperating, so I added about 4 tablespoons of water. So do not add water at first. If you see your blender is not pureeing properly, then add a tablespoon at a time. You need a thick paste like this. And look how gorgeous that looks already. Just to let you know my friends, there's a lot of construction work going on in my area. So I apologize if you hear some background noise. Now I highly recommend using a non-stick pan for this recipe or a heavy bottomed pan. 3 tablespoons of oil. We need cumin seeds that is jeera, a dried bay leaf and dried red chilies which are totally optional. But dried red chilies give a nice smoky flavor when fried. Remember guys, your oil should be just hot enough to allow the seeds to splutter. But your oil should never be smoking hot. As I always say, the seeds will burn if added to very hot oil. Next comes Mr. Potato and I have used red potatoes and I have purposely left a little bit of that skin on them. Fry the potatoes on medium high heat for about 2 to 3 minutes. And then the green puree enters the pan with all its gorgeousness and goodness. I don't know about you, but I just love to see those natural colors. Okay, now constantly stir everything on medium heat for about 2 to 3 minutes. Next, cover the pan on very low heat for a few minutes, but from time to time uncover and give a stir. The mixture is sticky and it has this tendency to sit at the bottom of your pan and get burnt, so you have to stir it frequently. Okay, now you can make out that everything is starting to look dry. That means everything is well fried. And by frying, I don't mean that it will look brown. By frying, it means that the mixture should look dry. At least for this recipe. Okay, time for the spice powders to go in. Ground coriander or dhania powder. Ground cumin or jeera powder. Little bit of turmeric powder. But remember guys, very little because you do not want to shadow off this gorgeous green color by adding too much of turmeric. But adding little bit of that yellow sunshine will make the green color stand out more. I also added some salt, give a brief mix and then I added the rinsed out blender jar goodness along with a cup and a half of hot water. Allow it to come up to a rolling boil, then cover on low heat till the potatoes turn tender. Ok guys, so it's been about 8 minutes. The potatoes have become tender, so now it's time for the tomatoes to show off their beauty amidst the greenery. And I haven't forgotten about those green peas that I had saved earlier. If you are using fresh green peas, then please add them along with the potatoes as fresh green peas take longer time to cook. I even added a pinch of sugar to balance the flavor, but it is totally optional. And remember to scrape all that goodness guys from the sides as well. Do not cover the pan now as you do not want the tomatoes to turn into a mush. 
Just simmer it on medium heat for a few minutes. And then you know the usual drill. My beloved coriander leaves have to come into the scene. And please don't use your bare fingers like I did to take out the bay leaves like that. Please use a pair of tongs my friends. Serve this with roti or hot steamed rice. Please smash that like button for me and help this video to reach out to more people.